Hey guys, Carly Spade here, aka The Visual Nerd, here with your first monthly comic review for 8 Days a Geek. It's no secret that comics just aren't as cheap as they were in the 90s. And unlike my childhood, I'm a little bit more picky about my purchases. There are four basic principles that I look for when I'm perusing the comic book shelves. Story, dialogue, pencil work, and colors. Which I figured was a pretty good outline to use for my reviews. For this month's review, I'm reviewing Batman Detective Comics number 11. Aside from being a huge Batman fan, what first drew me into the comic was the cover art. I absolutely love the pencils. Pencil work by, and I'm probably going to screw up your name so I apologize in advance, pencil work by Julio Ferreira and Eduardo Ponsica? I hope I got that at least somewhat right. Anyway, awesome job they did on the cover. Then you open the book up, and surprise, surprise, the same artwork on the inside, which is a huge, huge thing for me because that just really isn't the case anymore. Seems like false advertising. The story grabbed me immediately, with no hesitation in starting with the action, including an action word that I have yet to read. Zaf! That's a fun word. Features a villain named Mr. Toxin. Toxic. Toxin. A toxic toxin. Something like that. Isn't who he appears to be and Dr. Hugh Martyr, who I could have sworn was Tarzan at first glance. I particularly like a line where Bruce mentions about having a comparison in feelings to when he's overloaded with radiation to how Clark feels with kryptonite. Bro, mom! Radiation, by the way, means radiation shower. Just saying. Don't want to give it all away, but basically the story continues to uncover the mystery between Mr. Toxin... Toxic. Toxic. Why do I have such trouble with that word? And Dr. Martyr. Lots of sciencey talk goes on, which is sometimes hard for my blonde brain to wrap around. In fact, sometimes I wonder how Batman even became my favorite. Because, I mean, science is kind of a trend in these books. Anyway, I enjoyed the book. However, I've been more riveted by other Batman books. And I've apparently come to grow and love the version of Batman where his dialogue is a little bit more badassery. The book is worth the artwork. It has strong lines, beautiful crosshatch inking, and dynamic colors. Which is not always DC's strong point, in my opinion. I give it a 3 out of 5. Stay tuned next month here at 8 Days a Geek when I review yet another comic. What is it going to be? I don't know. Do you know? I don't. And also tune in at the end of the month when I wrap up all of the geekiest happenings the month of July. This is Carly Spade, aka The Visual Nerd, for 8 Days a Geek.